How y'all doing? It's Divine Diva 71 coming at y'all with a video on these beautiful smelling bath and body work candles. Some of these candles I purchased maybe a little over a year ago. And some of them I've just purchased maybe for the last maybe two or three months. And these are the ones I usually like for the fall, winter months because they smell oh so heavenly. And it smells like you are baking something even when you're not. <laughs> okay. I keep my spring summer candles separate and i keep these right here on my like my winter my fall winter scents also separate and these are the ones that are right here that i burn for the fall winter months where they smell just like the season okay i love this this the, the aroma these throw off so we're going to start right here i am burning twisted peppermint that's when i have lit right there the bottom one right here is banana cream pad we already know Oh my goodness. I have two of those. Um, this is the one. I think I burned this one just a little bit. But I do keep one in my living room. This bottom one here. Pumpkin Snickerdoodle. I just burned that one yesterday. And it smells absolutely beautiful. I mean, I just love the, 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 the smell of these candles. They smell so... Just so sugary and fresh. And it puts you in a... Beautiful state of mind, you know what I mean? <laughs> also make you a little hungry. Makes you a little hungry. Well, now it makes you have a little sweet tooth when you smell these darn candles. Now, my thousand wishes. I do have that. I did a video a couple weeks back. I do have that in a laundry detergent. In the laundry detergent of a thousand wishes, it leaves your clothes smelling just like it. I mean, I mean for real. I love the scent of it. Salted butterscotch right here. That's the bomb diggity. Love the smell of salted butterscotch. I think I have another one of those candles too. Now, blueberry cotton candy, blueberry maple pancakes, and blueberry marshmallow bar. These all smell, you can smell the blueberry, but they do not smell the same. I mean, everybody knows it's different, but to me, they all smell totally different. That's why I just put them together like this. So, people will get confused thinking they're like the same type of blueberry, but actually they're not. So, the blueberry cotton candy smells just like it says. The blueberry maple pancakes, that's what it smells like. If you ever smell like a uh, um, like a blueberry muffin or something like that, that's what it smells like. And then the blueberry marshmallow bar, it smells just like, like, a, like a blueberry marshmallow. Or you can smell the blueberry and the marshmallowy um, aroma in that candle. This one right here is blackberries and basil. They also have this in a um, hand wash. It smells very, very nice. Very, very um, plummy, grapey. Just a nice, deep berry smell. I think everybody had this one. Marshmallow Fireside. I think everybody got that one. And it does smell like a nice um, roasted marshmallow. Is this the, um, the, the uh, aroma that gives off. Now, crushed candy cane. I bought this one last year. Crushed candy cane and twisted peppermint. I think crushed candy cane has more of a, it has maybe a little bit more mint than twisted peppermint. Twisted peppermint is, 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 is pepperminty, but it's like a light, fresh pepperminty. This crushed candy cane to me smells like, I mean, it's like pow. It's a very, very pepperminty aroma. So if you like peppermint, uh, the heavy smell of peppermint, Crushed candy cane would be your best bet. Now, I believe they will come out with this like around, like right before Christmas or right Thanksgiving, somewhere around there. So just check for that on their website. Caramel apple, again, one of my favorites. Caramel apple is not in stores. You can only get it offline. So I got two. This is my second caramel apple. The first one, I burned that one down to hell, okay? <laughs> and then the, this one right here is the one uh, you see, it's, it's half burnt. It's half burnt. Then cranberry peach. Love that one too. Now cranberry peach, it smells um you can smell the cranberry. You can smell like maybe a hint of peach, but like put it together and it smells like a um again like a like a nice like something that's bacon. So I think the but the cranberry is heavy and you have like a, a hint of peach, but together it's it when it comes together and you burn that, oh that's the bomb diggity. Now Red velvet cake. It smells just like red velvet cake, y'all. That's one of my favorite desserts. That red velvet cake is the bomb. But again, you have to catch that on the website. 
You have to catch that because that's hard to find. And if you try to go somewhere like Amazon.com trying to find it, they're going to charge you an extra maybe $10, $15 for that red velvet cake candle. So if you can get it off of um, Bath Body Works, get it off of there. Yeah. Sugar Cherry Crisp. You see, I burned this candle down to hell too. So look at that. <laughs> um, that smells like if you remember um, back in the day when McDonald's used to sell those cherry and apple pies. That sugar cherry crisp smells just like that McDonald's cherry pie. It puts you in the mind of that. It smells wonderful. It's the bomb. Now, this one right here, caramel boule latte. Oh, that smells like a really, really good coffee. Like a with, like whipped cream or something like that on it. Now that would have, that, all these candles would have your whole room lit up. I mean, they really will. They think things are the bomb. Now, we're going up to Frosted Cranberry. That's another one. Now, you have to keep in mind, they do change their labels, like, every year on their candles. If you are a big fan of Bath & Body Works, I think you should know that by now, they will change their labels. Now, Frosted Cranberry, that's the bomb, too. So, the Frosted Cranberry and the Cranberry Peach, you can smell the Cranberry Heavy in both. But the Frosted Cranberry, that's just, like, straight Cranberry. It smells beautiful. Then it's pumpkin apple, Lord, pumpkin apple over here. Yeah, that right there is the bomb diggity too. The apple is heavy with like a hint of pumpkin, like a sweet, spicy pumpkin. That smells heavenly too. Now this one right here, this is called Radiant Red Maple. This was a limited time only. I just brought this one about, uh, about three weeks ago from the mall. We went inside um, Bath and Body Works. Like, as soon as you walk in, they had this one, and they had another one sitting up there. This smells very sweet, very nice, nice fragrance. But the lady in the store, one of the workers said, she said, she said it was only like a limited time. Once they sell them, they was going to be gone. They're not going to remake them or resell. They're not doing anything. She said, we're going to just make them. We made enough to sell, and after this batch is gone, then that's going to be the end of Radiant Red Maple. So... But it smells good. I was burning this one um, Friday. That smells very pretty. So, yeah. But if you like um, nice, um, heavy sense of, of of sweetness around your home, I would suggest you try to get some of these um, candles right here. These are 19 candles here. And I still have candles in a basket over here. I have a cabinet over here filled with um, Bath & Body Works candles. So, right now, I just took these out just to showcase these. And these are the main ones that I do burn for the um, fall, winter months, especially like like last night, it was raining outside and leaves blowing all over the place. And oh my goodness, and to have a candle lit, it was like, oh my God, it puts you in such a relaxing state. It really does. So this right here, um, Radiant Red, Frosted Cranberry, Pumpkin Apple, Sugar Cherry Crisp, Red Velvet Cake, Cranberry Peach, Caramel Apple, online only, Blueberry Marshmallow Bar, Crushed Candy Cane, Blackberries and Basil, Blueberry Maple Pancakes, Marshmallow Fireside, Salted Butterscotch, Blueberry Cotton Candy, Caramel Brulee Latte, Banana Cream Pie, Pumpkin Snickerdoodle, A Thousand Wishes, and Twisted Peppermint. Okay? Yeah, now I can put these back in my cabinet. It was all stacked up just like this. <laughs> so whenever I'm in the mood to smell, that's what I will light. So, you guys take care. Let know stay out the way. God bless. And I didn't mention this little thing right here on the top. This also came from Bath & Body Works. It's a magnet. You can put this on top of your candle, just like you see right here. But I got this several years ago. So, yeah, like a big old snowflake. Yep. But y'all take care. God bless. Stay well.